okay guys so finally we have got the cm13 that is a cyanogen mod rom for the lenovo k4 note so in this tutorial i'll be showing you how to install the cm13 rom in the lenovo k4 note first of all we will be needing a few files i'll be showing you the files just one second just let me focus my camera so this So these are the files which I will be needing. So you can see that these are the four files. So now what I will be doing is I will simply extract the CM13 V unofficial ROM. Do not worry, the links will all be given in the in the description below to download the ROM and I will also be giving the link to the original forum so that you can get the updates so what we'll be doing is we'll be first extracting this cm13 this method is slightly different from your other flashing roms so just watch the entire video so what we will be doing is we'll be extracting this raw Once the extraction has been done, we will be seeing that there will be quite a many files. For example, these files. These are all system image files and now what we will do is that we will copy all these files and put them in our USB pen drive. I will be putting it in my USB pen drive, you can put it in your external memory but try not to keep it in your internal memory card. So just a little heads up, you will be needing the Marshmallow ROM, you will, need, you will be needing to be in the Marshmallow ROM to do this and you will also need an unlocked bootloader and you will be needing TWRP in your phone. So what I will do, I will simply pause this video and once this is done, I will again come back to you. So let's just the copy be over and then I will again come back to you. You can see that my copy has been finally finished as you can see that here is the folder called the Lenovo K4 Note. Now what I will be doing is that I will be simply extracting my pen drive and I will insert it into my phone. So after doing that, what I will do is I will enter into the recovery mode so to enter into the recovery mode what I will be doing is I will press on the volume power up and power down button and I will wait for it to enter into the recovery mode I think I made some error and I did not press the volume up and power button in time so first I will do is I will first switch it off so I will just switch it off I will again try this process and I will enter into the recovery mode. So once I have entered into the recovery mode, I will first install a file called the Aroma File Manager as you can see over here. Wait, just let me focus it in. As you can see this is the Aroma File Manager and I will flash this once I flash this I will need to ins delete few files which are present in the NV data so but before deleting it what we will do is first we will wipe out all the cache and everything so we will just go back wipe 
we will click on advanced wipe and then we will click on Dalvik system cache and data and we will wait for it to finish first we need to do this then we will go back 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 go to mount and mount the NV data after doing that we will go and install the aroma file manager once it has been done we will go to NV data and we will delete all the files so so I'll just wait for the for it to load and I will again come back once it is done now that this has loaded what I will do is I'll click on the select all option and then I will do is that I'll delete all the files over here I'll permanently delete all the files and once this is done I'll simply exit the file manager so after that what I'll do is I'll go back and then I'll click on install images and then I will first flash the system.img and I will flash it as a system image please keep in mind to flash it as a system image and then I'll flash it as you can see that this method is more tedious than the normal flashing zip but you please you have to be patient and please make sure to follow all the steps properly once this is done we will simply click on back and then what we will do is we will flash this file called boot to st img please remember to flash the boot to st img and we will flash it as boot we will flash it as boot and then we will simply swipe to confirm flash once we have finally flashed it what we will do is simply we will reboot into the system so i'm just going to be clicking here and rebooting into the system please keep in mind that the first boot will take a lot of time it will take around something five to ten minutes and you just need to be patient please do not switch off your phone in such a case because it might lead to boot loops i'll pause the video and i will again come back when it has finished booting so you just you need to be patient so we have finally booted into the ROM so now what I will do is I'll simply select English I'll click on next and then I'll go and simply I'll enter my Wi-Fi password just one second and after it is done I'll simply be waiting I'll simply go and click next simply go and click next you can see that here we can use fingerprint so that is one good advantage however here as you can see that geo sim that is 4g sim will not be wo be working as you can see that geo sim is not working as of now just wait, let me see if I can focus on it. Just one second. You can see the GeoSim is not gonna be working. Another bug which I found was that my SD card is showing corrupt. So please be careful while you are doing this process. So guys, that's it for the videos. I hope you guys have liked the video and among the known bugs as i as i have shown that 
4G SIM will not be be working and your SD card will be showing corrupted. So if you guys like this video please do like, share and subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Thank you.